Hey guys, this one is the best WordPress plugins for this year. I've got some really helpful plugins that pretty much cover all the bases when it comes to adding functionality and features onto your WordPress website. So the plugins featured in this video cover security, marketing, e-commerce, selling products, setting up and editing your website. But first, if you do need web hosting, you can check out Bluehost via my link in the description. Get 50% off website hosting with Bluehost. I use Bluehost as well. Check them out if you are looking for website hosting. But let's get into the first one, which is Jetpack. Jetpack really is a kind of all-in-one app for WordPress. So if you're brand new to WordPress, you're looking at plugins, you're thinking, you know, what do I need? What should I use? Jetpack may be a really good starting point as it pretty much has a bit of everything. So you don't have to clutter up your WordPress with 50 different plugins. With Jetpack, you get social media sharing. So you can share all your pages on social media, get the analytics pretty easily. It also gives you site statistics. So you can see all your visitors and the time on the site over time. So that's a really great feature. SEO is in here as well. So you can set up your website to rank a little bit higher in search engines if that's important for you. It's gonna recommend tags and metadata and also tell you any pages on your site that maybe have some issues and maybe will be down in ranking. So you can see everything within Jetpack. There's also loads of different types of security features in here as well that you can add on, anti-spam and other things that will help with the security of your WordPress. It is free as well, Jetpack. There are a lot of features in the free version, but it's what I call freemium. So you get free features and then there's a load of other features that you do have to pay for. If you went for absolutely everything within Jetpack, it is kind of expensive every month, but obviously you don't need every single feature. You can just choose the ones that are important for you. If you wanna know more about WordPress, website building, uh, editing websites and plugins as well, I'll leave some extra videos and tutorials, more information in the description. So go and check those out if you want. Number two is WP Smush or WordPress Smush. And this one really aims to reduce the file size of images on your website. We've all been to those websites where it just takes forever to load for some reason, they're slow. That could be because images aren't compressed, they're huge and so take a long time to load. People aren't really gonna like that, but you can use this app or plugin and it's basically gonna scan your entire site for all of your images and then try and compress your images without losing too much detail in them. According to Smush anyway, there's no noticeable drop in image quality, so you're gonna get more or less lossless compression. In Smush though, you can resize images, compress them all at once. And as I said, it scans your site. So if you've got your site already, got some images on there, you can actually download this plugin and it's gonna go through all of your images and optimize them. It can process PNG files, JPEG files, and GIFs files as well and compress them all, meaning hopefully your site should load faster. iTheme security is next and this is focused on security and protection. So this is actually formally called better WordPress security. Something like this is kind of needed in some way just to make it a little bit harder for hackers to actually hack into your site if they wanted to. With this one though, there is a pro version, but there is a free version too. In the pro version, you of course get way more features. You get two-factor authentication. So when you're logging into your WordPress dashboard, maybe it will send you a message onto your phone just to increase security like that. You also get WordPress security keys, malware scanning as well. So if anyone hacks into the site, changes files or puts anything in there, it's gonna scan for that and let you know. You can also use Google Recapture on this one, and that really annoying one that asks you to like click the images of boats. <laughs> yeah, well, you can do that on your site and I guess it does improve security. There's also a really good security dashboard as well. So you can see everything It is really easily simply laid out. It's kind of easy to understand, which I like. So definitely points up for that one. And we move on to WooCommerce and WooCommerce is the e-commerce arm of WordPress. So if you're looking maybe at a Shopify or a Wix or something like that, then you can do that sort of thing with WordPress as well. And WooCommerce is perfect for this. With WooCommerce as a plugin, which is free by the way, the plugin anyway, there are some charges for other things, especially if you wanna accept payments. But downloading WooCommerce as a plugin to essentially create a e-commerce store and a web store for your WordPress website is very easy and it is actually way, way cheaper than paying those monthly fees for something like Shopify. 
This thing just works with WordPress. I mean, if you're going into WordPress and you want this functionality yourself, you wanna do things yourself, then WooCommerce is just the way to go if you wanna open a store with WordPress. It is just so integrated with WordPress. You can also accept payments through WooCommerce, PayPal, Square, and WooCommerce has payments, like I said. I think it charges you about a 3% transaction fee for credit cards, which is more or less normal, maybe a little bit more expensive than a bank, but you have all of that in your WordPress dashboard. You can see everything, it's very simple. You can set up Google Ads through WooCommerce as well. Obviously see all of your analytics for your website and your store together. You can set up your inventory on WooCommerce, absolutely manage everything from there. Also set up your shipping, do your marketing through this. You can set it up with many marketing clients, email clients, ad clients like Google Ads, all gonna be integrated in one dashboard within WordPress. The list is endless to be honest, and should you go for WooCommerce uh, and WordPress or should you go for Shopify? Uh, there's benefits and drawbacks to both. Shopify is a really powerful option and it's also really simple. So if you just want a very fast way of getting a website up, Shopify has all of those templates there for you, drag and drop editor. You do have to pay for that convenience though, whereas with WordPress and WooCommerce, the learning curve is a little bit steeper. It does take a little bit to get up and running, but you can do everything yourself. And for sure, it is way, way cheaper than paying monthly subscription fees for something like Shopify. We move on though to Creative Mail, and this is something you can use with WooCommerce and WordPress if you wanna build a store. This is an email marketing client essentially, so you can set this up with WordPress if you have a blog, and you can set it up with WooCommerce if you have an e-commerce store, so you can do newsletters and marketing campaigns. It is basically built from the ground up to integrate perfectly with WordPress websites and WooCommerce. What you can do with Creative Mail as well, which is really great, is actually integrate WooCommerce into your email marketing. So when you actually email people, you can put some products from your WooCommerce store directly in the email that people can click on and go right through to the store page, which I think is really convenient for them. The next one though is Tidio, and this is a live chat client. This actually works cross-platform. You can use this on Shopify even. They have an app on the Shopify platform does have a plugin for WordPress as well. And this lets you set up a few different type of chats. First one is live chat. So if you are a store or you need to interact with people on your site, then you can set this up and then it's basically a live chat client. So people on the site can send you messages instantly. You can reply to them instantly. Quite a good thing as well is that you can see what people are typing. So uh, they have a feature where you can see what the person is typing you before they actually send it to you. So you can read that and maybe preempt what they're gonna say and reply to them quicker, which yeah, replying to people quickly live is definitely a good thing if you've got an e-commerce store. And I know what you're thinking with the live chat bot. Yes, it does have an app as well. So this is gonna be convenient for you or if you have members of staff or people helping you chat to customers or people on your site. You can actually get all of those messages on your phone. So it's just gonna be super convenient rather than having to be at a computer all the time. You can see all of the chats on your phone just like a message client. Pretty Links is the next one and this is definitely gonna save you a lot of time and effort. If you do have a blog or you use affiliate marketing programs in any way like Amazon affiliate or whatever it may be, you're gonna have a lot of links and a lot of tracking links that you're gonna to have to actually keep in some place and then place them onto your site. Well, with Pretty Links, you can put all of your affiliate links into the system and then you can just literally just type in something simple and it's gonna link it for you with your affiliate link when you're typing out these new pages. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. This plugin though can also set up tracking links for web pages. So if you create a web page or a news article or a blog post, then you wanna share that on social media. You don't want the long website URL to be there. So Pretty Links will just shorten this for you and also make that trackable as well. So you can see all of your links in the dashboard and track absolutely everything. So it's gonna save you time in a couple of ways. It's a bit like Bitly, but integrated into WordPress, giving you all the tracking links and also making it way faster for you to integrate your affiliate links as well. Elementor is next on the list and I wanna mention this one if you're a beginner. Elementor is a page builder, it's a drag and drop builder. So if you've just started with WordPress and you're trying to maybe change the look and feel of your site, make it unique to you, then Elementor is just so good for that. 
You don't need any code knowledge. You can literally go onto your website and if Elementor is installed as a plugin in your WordPress, you're gonna have the editor right there. You can change everything. You can literally just click on text, type and change it. You can drag and drop image files anywhere that you want. You can also change the layout of your site because everything is in blocks that you can just drag around and change. I saved the best tool last though, and this is starter templates. This is my choice. I think it's the most useful plugin that I've ever come across, especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting up with WordPress. Within starter templates plugin, you do get Elementor. So you get that already just as part of the plugin, but starter templates is amazing for beginners because it gives you literally hundreds of pre-built websites and templates that you can go in with Elementor and change to make unique to you. I think this one has about 7 million active users, so that tells you how popular it is. There are some paid templates in here, but the vast majority are free. And building a website from scratch, I just put this one in there every time. You would then only need to buy web hosting for a great looking website. You don't need to pay for templates. And like I said, if you wanna know how to do that, all of those tutorials are in the description. I'll link them for you. Of course, my Bluehost link in the description too. If you do want web hosting, get 50% off with that. But these are my favorite plugins for this year. Let me know if any weren't on the list that you really like too. That is it for this one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done already and I'll see you in the next one.